Good evening and welcome to our live stream service for Wednesday of Holy Week, coming to you from the Vicarage of St John's Church here in central Cardiff. I'm Sarah and I'm the parish priest here. Everyone is welcome here in our inclusive online community and we hope that you will find something of God here. We hope you'll enjoy being part of our online service and you might like to post your first name and your location in the comments section on Facebook or YouTube and if you do that we'll begin to see with each other who we are worshipping with. Tonight is Wednesday of Holy Week and together we continue to follow St Matthew's Gospel as he describes the events leading up to the crucifixion of Jesus. And so who do we have here online today? Chris, it's good to see you and Claire, welcome back. Kieran, uh, or Carrie Ann, uh, sorry, Carrie Ann, uh, it's good to see you from Riverside. And Anne, lovely to have you with us tonight. Julie, Good to welcome you here. Andy, it's good to see you back. And Tayo, it's good that you can join us. Hello Lorna, our assistant curate. It's great that you can be with us all this evening. And hello to Will and to Louise and to Georgie. And to anyone who hasn't managed to put their name and location in the comment section. Everyone is very welcome. This evening we may not meet together in person but we definitely meet together online and so we are a community. So let us pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray for the times when we have fallen short of our calling. Lord, have mercy. For the times when we have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. Christ, have mercy. For the times when we have forgotten to love God. Lord, have mercy. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his spirit and raise you to new life with Christ our Lord. Amen. Here's Ollie with tonight's collect. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race sent your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh, and to suffer death upon the cross. Grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility, and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Tonight's Gospel passage from St Matthew's Gospel is read for us by Adele. Matthew 26, verses 6 to 16. Now while Jesus was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very costly ointment and she poured it on his head as he sat at the table. But when the disciples saw it, they were angry and said, Why this waste? For this ointment could have been sold for a large sum and the money given to the poor. But Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? She has performed a good service for me. For you always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. By pouring this ointment on my body, she has prepared me for burial. 
Truly, I tell you, wherever this good news is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. Then one of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What will you give me if I betray him to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that moment he began to look for an opportunity to betray him. Matthew's account of Wednesday in Holy Week sees Jesus being anointed by a woman with a very expensive jar of ointment. The disciples complain because it could have been sold and the money could have been given to the poor. And that's true. In our lives, we have many competing demands for our attention and our money and our love. And most of those things are totally worthy of our attention, our money and our love. But this woman's extravagant act of devotion to Jesus reminds us of one important thing. And that is, it's important for us to be devoted to Jesus. Because if we're devoted to Jesus, we will remember the summary of the two great commandments, to love the Lord our God with all our heart and all our mind, but to love our neighbours as ourselves. If we're devoted to God, we will love our neighbours and take care of those who need it. One final thought for today, and that is, Judas has often been thought of as selfish or wicked or greedy, but I can't help but wonder whether his main problem was he gradually began to get less devoted to Jesus. And he kept thinking then of other things that could be done. We need to remember to have our love for God front and center of our spiritual lives. Because if we're devoted to God, we will be devoted to our fellow humans and to all creatures with which we share this planet. The community at St John's has always been one of prayer. We're committed to prayer for people in all sorts of circumstances. And in a minute, I'm going to play you some of our members who have pledged to pray for you and the people of Cardiff. While this is playing, if you have any particular intention that is on your heart this evening, anything you'd like us to pray for or you'd like us to pray for you, do put that in the comments on Facebook or YouTube and we will pray for you in our time of intercession in a minute. My name's Ruth and I'll be praying for you. Hello, I'm Evan. I'll pray for you. Hi, I'm Randa. I pray for you. Hi, I'm Lorna. I'm the assistant curate of St John's. And just to say, I'm praying for you. Hi, I'm Nina, and today I'll be praying for you. Hello, I'm Tayo, and I will pray with you today. Hi, I'm Rachel, and I will pray for you today. Hi, I'm Quentin, and I'm praying for you. Hi, I'm Janet and I'm praying for you. Hi, I'm Emma and I will pray for you. Hi, I'm Dan and I'll pray for you. So, let us gather now our thoughts and our prayers and bring them to Jesus' cross. We're going to start off by praying for Elvira's funeral tomorrow. For everyone who's going to have to go to that. And for everyone in these times who is unable to attend. Let's pray for Noshin and for him with his admission. We pray that he will always know that God is right there. 
We pray for all the essential workers of our country. And tonight, therefore, God, we give you thanks for all those who ensure that our refuse and waste is collected. We give you thanks for bus drivers and train drivers, for engineers and for teachers, and for those who work in our food supply chain. We pray for Hannah and her family. We pray that they will know of God's presence. We give you thanks, O oh God, for everyone who cares for people in their own homes. And so we pray for care workers employed by the NHS or by private companies and for all who look after family members as a caregiver. We hold before God Karen, who cannot attend her mother's funeral in America. We continue to pray for Debbie, recently diagnosed with MS, for Judith and her family on the loss of her father and for Emma, and for Malcolm Stevens, who died on Friday, we pray for his family and commend Malcolm to God. So we give thanks for this community of prayer and the joining together of our hearts as we pray for the things which are on our mind. Let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so, as we go back into our normal lives, into our homes or wherever we are tonight, we do go with God's blessing. And I'm going to say God's blessing and pronounce it on us now. May the Father who loved, who so loved the world that he gave his only Son bring you by faith to his eternal life. May Christ, who accepted the cup of sacrifice in obedience to the Father's will, keep you steadfast as you walk with him the way of the cross. May the Spirit, who strengthens us to suffer with Christ, that we may share his glory, set your minds on life and peace, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. And so, thank you for being with us this evening. If you enjoyed being with us, do bring a friend tomorrow by inviting them to meet with us and you at 7.30. Tomorrow is Maundy Thursday, which is a very significant day in the life of Jesus and a significant day in the life of all Christians so do join the service if you can. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. <laughs>